All right, so I'm going to talk about um, developing an idea um, as you're making your collages. So I talked about this in a previous video a little bit, but this is my first collage. There's some things about it I do like. I kind of like the palette. Um, I don't feel like this is totally resolved. It's probably hard to see it at any angle of the light above me. Um, I like how I continued that circle with different meat materials and repeated some of the same patterns. That was cool. I kind of like the vertical line and feels like integrated of layers and all that stuff. But I kind of made a different direction. I My second collage was this guy. And some of the palettes set similar in terms of the, I guess that pinkish hue was the one thing that um, continues on. And then I um, started working with representational imagery. I cut this out, I put it in there, and I was just seeing how it related to the rest of the collage. I liked how I had these stripes here. And then I moved on to, to the next one. I, I didn't stick with this one too long because I knew it was kind of like a growing, um, an evolution, and, and, and I don't want to get stuck. So then I moved on to this collage here. Um, and then I started to uh, repeat some of these stripes here. Uh, and some of the mark making that I was doing here, I did there. So I took a little bit of both and then added them here. And I kind of like this interior space um, that I found in a magazine. And then I um, started to work on this side over there. And I kind of like how they, uh, this two different worlds kind of collide in one collage. And then I started working on this one. Um, so I found this interior space again. You know, one thing builds from another. So I started with an interior space. I cut the figures out, I put something um, else behind them. And to repeat kind of this color uh, pop with gray versus color to get that intensity, uh, I chose something that was a little desaturated, almost pure gray. And then I'm just gonna load it up with color here in the um, window panes. And I think I'm gonna do it on the floor here, I already started. And then I found this design here that had this same repetitive pattern of the grid here over here um, so I added that down. In addition to it, I found this little book and I extended the, the uh, perspective line that was here. And I found this other, uh, this is actually a book too, but it's a back of a book, Donald Judd writing. And I placed that there. Once I cut this off, this is going to be cropped off right here. This will be cropped off, I believe, right here. This will be cropped off here. This will be cropped off here. It should all work together. I'm still not sold on this thing. My eye keeps coming here and get, and, I, and I'm not happy with it yet, but I could always um, paint something on top of that if I want to change the color. I think the color is kind of affecting me. Um, and we'll see where this goes, but it's kind of a step from here and it's going a little bit and then it's, it's continuously evolving. So this is just the fourth one. What happens when I make the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth, and the... So then you start to kind of um, uh, find your way, find your direction, but you have to go through some growing pains in order to get somewhere that you feel comfortable. Okay, that's it.